All right, guys, welcome to day four of a week on Iceland frozen food. Here we have stuffed crust American hottest. And it says spicy cheese filled stuffed crust pizza topped with a spicy tomato sauce, green and red jalapeno peppers, hot pepperoni, spicy cream fresh or creme fraiche, uh, mozzarella and cheddar cheese. And yeah, it does, it does look good, but let's see how it looks um, out of the box compared to <laughs> what it looks like on the packaging. And you know what, I forgot to turn the, I was going to say the heating, <laughs> the oven on. Okay, right, let's get this unboxed. Okay, here we go. And you know what? I need something to keep track of the calories. So I've got a pen here. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm going to need to do some calculations for uh, the calories and salt intake. So yeah, I'm going to have to quit the video and calculate that. But let's see. Do you hear that? What? <laughs> that sounds like a. That sounds like a heavy pizza. It sounds like I'm dropping a brick. What? You could knock someone out with that. <laughs> right, let's, uh, let's see how it is. Okay, okay. It, uh, it does look good. Plenty of jalapeno on there. Oh, you can smell the spice even through the packaging. Um, if you've known me for long enough, you know I love spicy foods. So yeah, this is going to be a nice, um, a nice pizza. Um, this looks like it's got coriander. It smells like coriander too. Does this have coriander? Spicy tomato sauce, cream fresh. Uh, that must be spicy cream fresh or cream fresh, however you pronounce it. But it looks like coriander. You see, see the brown stuff here. That looks like coriander, ground, ground coriander seeds, not the green coriander, ground up coriander seeds. Okay, a little bit of jalapeno and. Let's um, see how long we need to cook it for. So, 200 degrees C for 17 minutes. minutes. Burp warning. <coughs> that was it. <laughs> okay, so, we shall see you in one second, but I shall see you in 17 minutes. In fact, longer than 17 minutes, because I need to wait for the oven to heat up. <laughs> but yeah, for you it will just be a second. Alright guys, so there's our pizza, and to save using a plate, what I've done was, I flattened the pizza box out, and just put the pizza on top of there, and cut it up, and to prevent crumbs, I put tin foil around it, um, I was going to have some garlic and herb sauce with this, but I've got the dentist in the morning, and I don't want to go to the dentist, stinking of garlic, so I'm going to use some of this spicy barbecue sauce. Let me use that as a thumbnail. Maybe. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Let's try and get a good comparison. How do you spell it? Okay, so there's not one there. Okay, so there. And that. I mean, yeah, I think it's a... Uh, I think it's a pretty fair comparison, you know. It looks very similar. Let's uh, let's try it without the sauce, and then try it um, with the sauce. Okay. Spicy, <clears throat> spicy American. Oh dear, I've got barbecue sauce on my hand. Spicy American hot pizza. Let's see. Uh, 
let's see how good it is if it's spicy enough right let's find a part that's got lots of uh spice on it maybe that little piece there so but oops loads of spice on that right let's try it mm. Dropped it everywhere. Uh, I picked up some kitchen roll to prevent mess, and then I've just made a big mess. And wow, that is spicy. I haven't even added the. Whoa, that is spicy. <laughs> I haven't even added the barbecue sauce yet. Wow. Ah, bit my lip. Oh, that is good. That is delicious. Let's get a piece with the uh, pepperoni. That is absolutely delicious. Nine out of 10, at least. In fact, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. That's really nice and spicy. It tastes delicious. It's probably the nicest thing I've had during this week on these frozen foods. This is probably the nicest thing I've had. We still need to try it with some barbecue sauce. <clears throat> I bet this would be amazing with garlic sauce. But like I say, I don't want to go to the dentist with uh, garlic on my breath. You know, like, <clears throat> even though if you brush your teeth, like the next day, like, <clears throat> garlic still comes out in your pores. And you can smell it off people, you know, it's not, it's not pleasant. So it's a bit of a shame. But let's try this barbecue sauce. Nice dollop on there. Okay. Hmm. Absolutely amazing. Hmm. Absolutely amazing for um. A frozen pizza, you know. I would definitely buy that again. I would buy it again and again and again. <laughs> I wouldn't eat it every single day though, but you know, it's uh, it's one of the things that I would continue to buy. I hope they don't, um, I hope it doesn't get discontinued. So, if you like pizza, and you like spicy foods, you'll like this. It's got a really nice spice to it. Uh, I, can't stop, I can't stop eating it. Let's pick that piece of jalapeno up. Okay. So we shall see you in the next clip. <clears throat> and I'm going to, be, going to be making some sausage sandwiches, hot and spicy sausage sandwiches. Okay, see you soon. Uh, <clears throat> okay, that pizza was delicious, nice and spicy, nice and filling. <clears throat> but we're going to have some chili cheese, hot dogs, and um, there was no... Uh, hot dog rolls, hot dog buns, whatever you want to call them. So I'm going to be using um, Porvis, Porvis thick white bread for sausage sandwiches. And um, yeah, we've got the oven preheating. Let's see. I'll put them in the air fryer for 15 minutes. 
180 degrees, turn halfway through cooking. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll have it in a sandwich. What we'll do is we'll go cut the sausage down lengthways, and then again, and then again, and then say this is the slice of bread. So we'll have two sausages this way that's opened out, and then one sausage this way that's opened out. You'll see what I mean once I get the bread out, but I'm pretty sure if you're British, you do know what I mean. But if you don't, uh, you will see soon. Let's take a look at the calories. Per sausage grilled, 161. Right, I'm going to be having three. So it's 161 times three. Uh, 0.7 times three. Okay, let's get back to you with that information. Okay, so these are halfway through. Oh, they smell delicious. So I need to turn these around and poke some holes into them. Okay, so I've poked some holes into them and turned them round. Let's hope they don't roll while I put them back in carefully. Because if they roll, then they'll turn back to the original side. And we need them on the other side, so it gets cooked evenly. Air uh, fry, 180 for... Let's do eight. Let's do eight, just to be sure. Eight minutes. Um, yeah, I'm always curious when cooking pork. Um, normally I cook it a little bit over just to be... Just to be 100% sure that it's that there's no raw pork and no risk of getting food poisoning. I only do that with pork. If it's beef, you know, I basically eat uh, beef raw. You know, like 10 seconds each side on a steak or 30 seconds each side on a steak. But with pork, yeah, uh, I get really paranoid with pork. I end up cleaning the full kitchen, you know, because of cross-contamination and stuff. Yeah, pork is a... Pain in the ASS <laughs> to cook, but it's worth it. Anyways, let's get this started. Okay, here is how the sausages are doing, and they've got two minutes left. But, I mean, the inside still doesn't look fully cooked. I, mean, I don't know, maybe it's just me who'd be paranoid with it being pork. Let's put the time further up. Let's do, let's go to five. I mean, I just want to make 100% sure that it's 100% cooked. Okay, so here I am going to slice, not slice, spread two pieces of bread with butter, well, margarine. And then uh, we've got the sausages to cut lengthways. And then uh, make a nice sausage sandwich. And we'll put barbecue sauce in this as well, that spicy barbecue sauce. Did did it did he okay? And now the other one. Okay. And now <clears throat> Put butter on my finger, and now we um, cut the sausages in half. So let me bring you over a little bit in the hope, in the hopes that the tripod doesn't fall. Okay, so it's one sausage. Definitely overcooked, <laughs> but it's better to be overcooked than undercooked, you know. And then we open it like this. Okay. And then this goes on to the bread. Okay, so we're only going to need two per slice. It's going to be one spare sausage. Okay, let me just pause the video. Okay. Oops, barbecue sauce on my hand. I'm doing a good job of making a mess today, aren't I?
There we go, that'll do. Now let's put that together. Turn it round. And we are gonna slice it this way. And there we have our spicy sausage with spicy barbecue sauce sandwich with a slight burnt end. Okay, let's give it a try. Hope it's not too hot. There's not much flavour to them sausages. Oh, look at this mess I've made. Mm. I should have left the tin fall down. <clears throat> I'm not usually this messy when I when I eat. Um, yeah, there's not much flavour to these sausages. Excuse me a second while I just <clears throat> quickly wash these cutlery. Almost done. Okay. Right, yeah, the sausage sandwich, um, not very flavorful at all, even with the barbecue sauce. Um, it's not very flavorful. I'd give that like a four out of ten. Let's have one more. Let's have one more bite. Yeah, very <coughs> very very disappointing. There's not much flavour there at all. I mean, I could eat it if I was starving, but it's not something that I would make again for a nice meal because, I mean, even though there's a little bit of flavour there, it's not, it's not, um, it's not what I'm looking for. It's not really, it's not really nice, you know. Okay, so, that's it for this part. What are we on? What's, what damage have we done? So for the pizza, it's 1,168 calories, six grams of salt, 483 calories for the uh, sausages and 2.1 grams of salt. Um, that's without including the bread and the margarine. So not too sure how much to add up. I mean, I don't think it will uh, add up much more. But yeah, um, Let's see you later on for our third meal. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we are going to finish the night off with a chorizo, or chorizo, however you pronounce it, mac and nacho cheese. Now, this looks like it's got bacon bits or beef bits, jalapenos. Um, ingredients list. I mean, I don't want to see the processed artificial stuff. Um, yeah, I'm not reading all of that. <laughs> if you want to pause the video and read that, feel free. But I ain't reading it all. <laughs> and uh, here is the damage for today. So after I eat this, it will be total 2,394 calories, which is around... 108 calories off but the salt intake is 12.3 which is 6.3 grams over the daily salt intake 
So I'm going to need to drink a lot of water to um to benefit that salt. <laughs> yeah. It just goes to show it goes it just goes to show um how much frozen food is actually quite bad for you. You know, I'm on my fourth day and um I'm feeling like really sluggish and uh low on energy <coughs> low on energy and uh yeah so can't wait till this is over and have a nice a nice fresh steak with some nice homemade chips and uh yeah look really looking forward to that so we shall see you soon this takes uh so 190 degrees peace fill on with 30 minutes stir return for 10 minutes let's see what it looks like okay that looks quite good let's see what it looks like um it's cooked okay let's put some slices in this rather than poking loads of holes i'm gonna do three slices in fact let's do four to make it even hope that doesn't rip there we go one two three four yeah there we go and that will go onto the tray and then into the oven when um, when it's preheated. Shall we use that for the thumbnail? Okay guys, <clears throat> see you in the next clip. Okay, so this is after... Was it 20 minutes or 30 minutes? Let's just double check. This is after, yeah, 30 minutes, and then when it stir it, I'll give it another 10 minutes. It's got a nice crisp. Okay, I'm gonna stir this off camera, and then show you what it looks like before we put it back into the oven for 10 minutes. Okay, here's what it looks like. There's not much jalapeno in there, but it looks nice and cheesy. Well, back in for 10 minutes. Okay, so this is what it's supposed to look like. And this is what it actually looks like. Let's try and get that a bit closer. Take that out of the background. Um, yeah, it's not very much the same resemblance, is it? I mean that one's got a lot more meat, and it looks like two different two different types. Is it two different types of cheese? This just looks like <laughs> one cheese and a couple of little bits of meat. Yeah, it's nothing like the box. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wait for it to cool down and then we'll give it a try. And I might use that as the video thumbnail. Alright guys, so this is the morning after. Uh, I fell asleep last night. I had a headache, which I very rarely get. Um, my ribs were hurting on both sides. In fact, they're still hurting a little bit now when I touch them. I don't know what that. <coughs> I don't know what that. <coughs> I don't know what that's from. And uh, yeah, I was just feeling really down and depressed. Um, it could be from all the processed frozen foods. You know, I'm not. I'm not used to eating so much food, especially processed foods. So I think it's taken a toll on me, you know. But uh, I'm gonna continue the challenge on as much as I can. But yeah, last night, headache, sore ribs, uh, depression. And uh, yeah, just basically feeling down. And uh, I do think it's, I do think it's due to this frozen food. I can't get my words out. You know, <laughs> this has been left out overnight. And, uh, yeah, this is how dedicated, <laughs> dedicated I am to uh, keep the uh, challenge going. But I may need to stop at some point, you know, because, uh, you know, the, dep the depression and the headaches and the sore ribs last night, it was awful. Anyways, uh... Next day, <laughs> macaroni cheese. Let's taste this. <laughs> Quite 
cold macaroni cheese for breakfast. I won't be finishing all of it, I tell you that. There's not much flavour to it. <clears throat> I think I'm coming down with something because there's been a lot of things that I could hardly taste. And one of my good friends who I, who I talk to a lot, <clears throat> she said that um, my voice has changed. Do you know, like when you get a cold, I don't feel like I've got a cold. Um, but yeah, my friend says that my voice has changed like I've got a cold. But when you've got a cold, you can't taste your foods, can you? So I may be coming down with something, you know, um, not tasting food, uh, headaches, sore ribs, depression. It could be all the processed foods or it could be coming down with something. It's only got the very slight hint of cheese. <clears throat> yeah. I think I'm definitely coming down with something, so. <clears throat> I am gonna I am gonna continue on the challenge. <clears throat> like I say, as much as I can. But if it starts to get too much, you know, headaches again and depression, um I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop it. <laughs> Anyways, um, today is day five of the challenge, and uh, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to it, but I want to keep you a lot entertained, so yeah, right, I'm going to end the video because I'm, I'm repeating myself now, okay guys, uh, peace out, take care, and we shall see you in the next video, peace.